Hello everyone, I'm going to show you new features in Office 2011. So here we are in Word. As you can see, there is a totally new Elements Gallery right here, which has a completely different layout from the previous version for Mac, which was 2008. And you can see there are tons of new templates for you to choose from. There are also online templates, which is completely new and they have tons more templates online for you to browse through. You can also see the recent documents here have been improved and a better layout for easier access. So if we just choose a blank template for now, we can show you some of the features for Word. So the first thing you'll probably notice is the addition of the ribbon right here, which was only present in the Windows versions on previous versions of Office, but has now been brought over to the Mac. So this ribbon will provide you with the easier access for tools across when using any Office program, whether it be Word, PowerPoint, Excel. So basically, you can go through all these tabs and change all the different elements and styles, add charts, smart art, and make review changes, track changes, and change the font and everything right here with ease. In addition to all this, there is also a new full screen mode, which can be accessed right here, which allows you to um, remove distractions and write in a better viewing mode, and also a new read mode, which allows you to read easier through the pages. So those are the basic new features in Word. There's also a new equation editor, which allows you to insert a math equation into your Word document, which can be useful for making tests and etc. So here we go, you can just insert any equation right here and just get typing. And so that's Word 2011. So now I'll show you some of the new features in PowerPoint 2011 for Mac. So as you can see, PowerPoint also comes with the new document chooser and tons of new templates added, including the online templates as well, and the recent documents you can also see. So once you choose a template that you want, you can also move your mouse over to view different slides just like Keynote does. So once you choose one that you want, you can also change the theme colors, fonts, and size right here to, and also view a previews of each slide, what they could look like. And once you've changed all these options, just choose choose right here. And so, as you can see, it also comes with the ribbon. That's with every Office application now. So I'm just going to preview this. And a great new feature in PowerPoint is the new Reorder Objects menu option, which allows you to reorder all of your layers in your document through this great interactive mode. So just drag and drop layers on top of each other, depending on where you want them ordered in your slide, then click OK. So now you can see if I drag this over testing, it appears behind it instead of in front. So it's another way of doing the command, if you right click and choose arrange, send to back, it's the same thing. But this is an easier way to visualize um, all these layers in your document. So in addition, they've also added some new transitions to your slides and you can see the full list by clicking here. So there's new ones such as honeycomb or shred. These are some pretty cool 3D effects 
that you can see. And they even added dynamic content, content which will move objects that are similar on each slide over. So here's another great feature for that applies to Word also. It's for applying text effects. So you can easily highlight any text and go over to this option right here on the Home tab in the ribbon. It's called the Text Effects menu. And you can apply all these cool effects to your text and even tweak individual options such as shadow, reflection, glow, 3D, bevel, and transform your text for different shapes. And so I'm going to just show you here. You can apply this one and it will change live and it's still editable. Unlike Word Art in previous versions where you had to open it, where it opened up in a new dialog box, you can easily just type the text in and edit it simply right here without having to leave the document. So these are some of the new features in PowerPoint. You can see they have added a new um, annotations uh, menu here. And of course you can draw all over your slide just, just anything you want and use these buttons to go to the next slide. So that's PowerPoint 2011 and we'll move right along now to Excel 2011.